jam knot. Two overhand knots. Very simple. We have one overhand knot. Now the key to this is to leave a little bit of a tail on it. See that? And then we make another overhand knot. Just like that. This is good for securing your gear. So what you would do is you'll take your standing end of your rope and you'll run it through the second overhand knot and you'll pull this thing tight against whatever you've got that you're trying to secure and as the knot tightens this little knot right here cannot pass through this other knot so it tightens and it's kinda like a prusik to some extent it'll tighten on things and it'll hold them shut and then when you want to release it you just pull here and it releases the knot I'll show you that a little more here in a, in a minute the Canadian knot uh, this is a jam knot. This works really good. Um, I'll use it with the big cord just to show it, but it honestly works better with smaller line. But I'll just use this big one just to show it. So it's two overhand knots. One right there. And you want this tail to be a couple of inches. You know, in fact, we can make that tail a little bit longer. There we go. Then you just make another one just like so. You have two overhand knots. Then you take the other end of your line. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, so you have this. You take your other end of your line and you feed it through. And so whatever you're going to hold, you're going to kind of tighten your line in. So whatever you're trying to hold, what's going to happen is this knot is going to tie around whatever you're hanging on to now this knot is so fat it can't it can't go through here so if it slips you see what i'm saying if this slips a little bit it ain't going to go nowhere it's not going to slip through and this knot this second overhand knot right here is the one that'll bite down on your material so i don't know if I can show it with this big of a line, it doesn't, it's got to, it works much better on smaller lines. It's kind of like a Prusik. Prusiks work real good with smaller lines. But that is your Canadian jam knot. Very simple, very easy. So when you're done, the reason you have that long tail is to break it loose. So again, there's your Canadian jam knot. Works good for securing bed rolls and things like that. Okay, this is going to be the Canadian jam, and what I want to do is I want to lash my bedroll, my blanket, okay? So, again, I'm going to take two overhand knots, one with a tail, and then another one that's a little bit loose, okay? Now, the one that's loose, I'm basically going to go around my bedding and this tail end here is going to go in the loose end and what's going to happen is it's going to all tighten up on itself so with the tail being out all I have to do is cinch this thing down and there it keeps it nice and tight for me that's the Canadian jam knot and then when I want to get it out I just pull this tail Okay, so again, I want to tighten it. I'll just tighten it on up. Let that hang. Keeps my bedding nice and tight. Find the little tail, and it releases it, no problem at all. That's a Canadian jam knot.